Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's create some pretty awesome animated captions just like Mr. Beast right inside Premiere Pro. I'm going to walk you through every step. This is a short video for my socials and I want to add captions before uploading it. Let's begin by heading to the window menu at the top and opening the text panel. Once it's open, go to the transcript tab. Here, click on the transcribe button. Now let Premiere do its thing. In a few minutes, the transcript will appear. Now it's time to check for mistakes. I usually find a few, but it's easy to fix them. Just double click any incorrect word and type the correction. Once everything looks good, it's time to create some captions. To do that, click the CC or Create Captions button in the text panel. A new window will pop up. In here, we'll configure a few things. First, set the maximum character length. I usually go with 15 characters. It works well for pacing. Then set the minimum duration. I drag this all the way to the left for faster transitions. For lines, choose single, ideal for both 916 and 169 content. Hit create captions. Once generated, you can still make edits in the captions panel, but it's often easier to adjust them earlier in the transcript tab. The captions panel jumps around a lot, which can be annoying. All right, let's now customize these captions. First, go back to the window menu and open the properties panel. Then select all your captions in the timeline. This ensures that the customizations apply to all of them. Now choose your desired font. I found a Mr. B style font online. You can find the download link in the description. Or just use any font you like. Click the all caps button for better readability on social content. Increase the font size to your liking. This next step is crucial. Click the center alignment point and avoid adjusting position settings for now. We can adjust the subtitle position later. Scroll down and choose a fill color. I'm keeping mine white since the premiere background is dark. Enable stroke and pick a contrasting color like purple. You can also add shadow or glow effects for extra flare. All this setup was just for the captions. Now let's move on to animation. But before that, let me show you an easier way. Fire cut an AI-powered plugin for Premiere Pro that makes captioning super easy. With just one click, FireCut automatically generates accurate captions in multiple languages, and you can fully customize their style and timing to match your visuals. No more manual transcription or weird line breaks. But that's not all. FireCut also lets you add chapters, highlight key moments, and even create social media friendly cuts, all powered by AI. By the way, I've already made a detailed video about FireCut. Just click the I button on the top right or check the link in the description to watch it. Want to give FireCut a spin? Hit the link in the description and start your free trial today. Don't forget to use the promo code ASHAR10 to get 10% off your purchase. It's super quick and totally worth it. Still, if you really want to go the manual route, here's how to animate captions in Premiere. Make sure all captions are still selected in the timeline. Then go to the Graphics and Titles menu at the top and select Upgrade Caption to Graphic. This turns captions into graphic layers so we can animate them. Now head to the Effects Library and find the Transform effect. Drag it onto your first caption clip. In Effect Controls, make sure the Transform effect is above the text layer, otherwise it won't work. Now let's animate. First up, the shaky scale up effect. Move the playhead 10 to 15 frames forward. Set scale and position keyframes. Then go two frames back and randomly adjust the position to create a shake. Keep doing this until you reach the first frame. Then set scale to zero. Right click the final scale keyframe and select Ease In for smooth animation. Scroll down and set shutter angle to 180 degrees. This adds natural motion blur. Right click the transform effect and save it as a preset, maybe name it Shaky Zoom. Anchor it to the endpoint and save. Now you can reuse it anytime from the effects library. Next, let's create a slide up animation. Add another transform effect to your clip. Also, add the crop effect. Adjust scale and position as before. In the program monitor, use the crop effect to pull the bottom edge upward. Back in effect controls, add a position keyframe. Move the playhead to the beginning and drag the vertical position down. This makes the caption slide in from the bottom. Ease in the last keyframe and set the shutter angle to 180 again. Repeat this process for all your captions. And don't forget to save each animation as a preset to save time later. I gotta say, these captions look pretty cool. But again, I highly recommend using Fire cut if you want to save time and effort. 
Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you need any help. I'm always here to answer your questions and support you.